Hi everyone, I'm Blossom the Creamist, as you should know by now. And right now, I'm in Nigeria. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys already know that there are beautiful parts in Nigeria. It's not just what people see on the TV. We have running water, we have beautiful houses, we have very popular and rich cities. But unfortunately, that's not where I'm at right now. I'm in the village. So I'm just going to show you guys what a typical day in the village has been consisting of. So when we wake up, first we have to wash, brush our teeth, and so we use this water right here. So I said there's running water. This is like the only source. This is one of the sources of running water, I guess. So we use water right here, and we use it to brush our teeth. And then I brush my teeth outside, so when I brush my teeth, I go here because the bathroom is kind of funky but I'll show you what the bathroom looks like later so after you brush your teeth you want to take a bath okay well in order to take a bath you have to boil water and you have to put it in this kettle that we use that we got from the states you put water in it this is our little stove it has fire and you boil the water see the fire under it see and this is boiling the water. All right, so this is the bathroom I was telling you about. It's very creepy. There's one door right here, and as you can see, there's no light fixture on top. So in the dark, you have to carry a lantern to pee. This is the toilet. Yes. And then the bathroom, the washroom, is in this one. So you use natural lighting. Of course, we're all about natural lighting here in the village. Um, and this is the bathtub. It's kind of scary. Actually, I was really scared to use this at first. But you get your tea kettle filled with hot water and you pour it in this bucket. And then after you pour it in the bucket, you can't, you can't wash yourself in hot water, obviously. So this is where the other running water comes in. You use the cold water right here and you fill it up so we actually do have running water in the village i was being ignorant before so we have three sources of light in the village we have sunlight the generator and nepa which is the nigerian they they give us it's like the nigerian government or whatever that gives us light and Nepalite is not very trustworthy. We're blessed to have it today. As you can see, as you have seen, there's light inside the room, but not always are we as fortunate and sometimes we'd be in darkness. So when we're in darkness, we turn on the generator. Over here is where people fetch water. We have, we're blessed to have one right in our backyard because it's where my late uncle who was a king lived and he has one in his backyard so people they get the bucket and you drop it down in this huge tank and then you get water and you f and you get that water and you fill you fill lots of buckets with it and then you go your business more village more village more village more village more village and this is our trash can disposal right here you get the trash and we burn it with fire. This is the place where we burn it with fire. And this is recyclables. The good thing about Nigeria is that we're really good at with recycling our resources. So we don't throw malt bottles away. We just give them back to the company that it came from and then they reuse it. Fun, huh? Resourceful. <laughs> so do you know, why are we burning our trash? Because in Nigeria, they don't have like people to come, like trash people. They don't have people to come and collect the trash in the community as a whole. <laughs> so when you're in Nigeria, you have to find somewhere to put your trash. And you have to burn it. Yo. Like so. I'm pretty sure we do the same, certain like this in the state, but citizens don't do they have people to do it for them. And this is how we wash our clothes. So we don't have no such thing as a washing machine here in this village, in this, in this place so you get a bucket you feel me full of water 
put your shirt in it. You put some soap in it. I didn't have any soap. And you put it in there. And then you wash it with your hands. Like so. So you imagine I have my other hand and I'm washing like that. And then hang it up here for it to air dry. This is your this is your drying machine right here. Record them washing them clothes. Village. You don't have washing machines here in the village. So you use your hands and wash your clothes. Ooh. If not, nobody will wash them for you. <laughs> You'll be going to wash smelly though. Know? <laughs> so today, how do you like washing your clothes without any washing machine? Hmm. And how long does it take? How long does it take to wash your clothes by hand? Mm. Sounds inconvenient. <laughs> what if I just throw your phone in there? Yeah, I know you buy another one for me. Ew. This is Daniel's home. Yeah. Daniel's home. Welcome back, Daniel. <laughs> Welcome back. Dad was born in this spot. In this village. Not even the town, the in this debt. He was born. In this Dad doesn't even know what hospital he was born in. He was born in the bush. Daddy was born in the bush. <laughs> you were born in this forest. It's okay, Daniel. Alright, time to bring the soup down. Okay. So welcome, the soup, welcome. We are done with our goosey soup. So it's time to bring it down. Yay! <laughs> Good. We're done. Jimmy, put your plate down. Oh, 